The topic of electricity generation is very complex. Everybody uses electricity, but few of them think how it's generated and how it's get to where we need it. A subject very often overlooked by most people outside the electricity field regarding power plant capacity and capacity factor. First of all, Let's start with what the term capacity means when referring to electricity generation. When it comes to generation capacity, we should think about maximum power output. Capacity is the maximum output a generator can produce under specific conditions. Each power plant has an installed capacity which indicates the maximum output that generator can produce. For instance, if power plant A has an install capacity of 500 megawatts, it means that plant is capable of producing 500 megawatts operating at continuous full power. Let me start explaining capacity factor. It is the ratio between what a power plant is capable of generating at maximum output versus the unit's actual generation output over a time period. These two variables is different from each other. Many generators do not operate at their full capacity all the time. A generator's output may vary based on maintenance issues, weather conditions such as wind and sun availability, fuel costs or instructions by the transmission system operators. The capacity factor for Renewable sources like wind or solar is significantly less than nuclear, coal or natural gas power plant. This is because of the variability of the wind and sun. Power plants typically nuclear, coal, natural gas or hydro can operate continuously unlike variable resources like wind or solar. For instance, when the candidate solar project comes online, its install capacity may be 300 megawatts, but that should not be confused as the actual solar output the project will produce. Remember, solar is highly variable, so the capacity factor of a solar power plant is significantly less than its install capacity. In general, Solar's capacity factor is 25%. Using the candidate solar project A example, that means only a 25% of its full capacity is being generated over the year due to solar's variability. <laughs> By comparison, a base load nuclear plant had an average capacity factor up to 94%. So you can see a 300 megawatt solar plant is not equivalent to a 300 megawatt nuclear power plant because of the huge difference in their capacity factors. <laughs> 